I'm going to assemble a 8mm watchmaker's lathe headstock. And this is Werewolf yarn. Um, it's nickel plated. Um, the patina um, showing the base metal coming through. Probably because it's 70 years old. Um, these are cone bearings. It's either cone bearings or stain, or not stainless steel, or um, ball bearings. This is cone. Um, it, they're pretty simple how to put together. The pulley will go in the middle, the spindle will go through, this part will go on the other end, these on the outside. Sometimes you get some dust covers, they're thinner than these, usually made of brass, that go on the inside. Remember to put them in as you're assembling. Um, they are just dust covers, they stop the bits of rubbish getting in between the, uh, the bearing and the spindle. In this case I haven't got any. Um, so This can only go in one way because of the way this, this, this cutout is. It can't go in that way, it just won't fit. Sometimes the spindle will have little indents that will line up with the grub screws, so uh, the locator holes. Um, in this case it hasn't got them, so it's just relying on a good tight fit with the, uh, the spindle. Um, when I put this in, it will go up to that shoulder, usually. It needs to be about halfway in here, but when it's up to that shoulder, that's usually the case. So, let's put this in, that's tight against the cone bearing. This end will usually be hardened, um, the rest of the spindle might, be, but might very well be soft. Um, some of them is hardened all the way through. So, with that pulley tight up against here, some only have one screw, this one's got four. Um, let's do these up. glasses on and see what I can see. thing you want is the pulley to slip on the spindle. There we go. That's pretty good. That's aligned pretty well. With this that goes on this end, there's a cutout on the spindle. I hope you can see that. There we go. So that groove is a locator. And in the inside of here, you'll have a, there you go, you see it on the end, the locator pin. So when this goes over here, the locator pin has to line up exactly because you're going to bash this, this down onto here. I'll show you. So that's located into the right place. Let me just double check. I usually put the groove on the very top there. Look down and locate it like that. If you haven't got it located properly and you start to put it together, that locator will just strip the thread, wherever it is. You can feel it starting to go down, and then you can start to see once it's starting to fit down. The, last, the very last bit that needs to knock down, what I do is I'll put this in the vise, and then 
so the top of the bias is just catching the edge of the collar there make sure it's away from that piece of thread because you don't want to bash down and end up stripping the piece of thread off here so put it on here make sure you can see here put it on here i hold the pulley because the last thing you want is that pulley to start smacking against this and then it end up breaking so i hold the head stop and the pulley and make sure that's aligned properly now i've got a dirty big piece of hide from a hide hammer which will suffice i don't really need the hammer to do this this will do it okay and just a light tap and then you you'll start to see it just going down until there you go and it's there so that's down all the way when you're disassembling it this can throw you a little bit because it appears as though the piece I've just knocked down onto the spindle it appears as though it should um, come off with the thread as though it's threaded on but it isn't um, as I've just shown you so don't get thrown by that um, and then on the outsides on the outside dust covers you've got a little cutout some headstocks or have a, a little uh, oil wick at the top that you could fill with um, with the uh, with the oil this is a lot simpler you just put this sheath over the top this dust cover and line up the little the cutout and line that up with the hole and that's uh, the hole that feeds the spindle with lubricant on some uh, headstocks you have a, um, a, a an oil wick a little container there that holds the oil not in this case so these dust covers they they have a split in them where's the split there to help you just pop them on because they might be quite tight make sure the indent is in line with the lubrication hole so let's just bring that round until it is so that split in the ring there that's what I'm using to turn it with the screwdriver head the carbon steel tweezers which is always handy right so that covers on and lined up beautifully so the lubricant can go in from that side do the same on this side. Get it on, get the screwdriver in that split. Just get it on. 
first, and then we can position it afterwards. at the top. This is important because it has to get the lubricant in there. Don't ever run it dry. There we go. It's a really nice fit. Now this end one, this has also got a split <coughs> um, and some of them can be a little bit tricky to get on. Um, sometimes they'll just literally screw straight on like this one is and sometimes you need to do the same thing like these dust covers, you need to get a screwdriver in there and as you're turning it around as you wedge it so you're not stripping the thread. If it's slightly off where those uh, where that split is, sometimes someone's opened them up or closed them up too much, um, so you need to play about a little bit. This one seems to be pretty good, and this is just the locking that. What this does, um, sometimes you've got one, sometimes you've got two on there, and it in it it will draw slightly together. Um, and when you get the thing running, um, you want to draw it together pretty tight and then just loosen it off just so the pulley's freely going round and it's not binding. So this goes on pretty good. And there's, I wouldn't say there was any play in that at all. In fact, it's very tight. The reason for that is there's no lubricant in there at the moment. So what I'll do is. I'll, uh, I'll lubricate it with um, a little bit of oil in there, and in that one, just turn it, Spin beautifully once that's all set up, and that's how you put it together. Draw a bar in there. 